Scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog podcast. This time I'm talking ab- about. Hang on, what am I talking about? Well, it's a podcast. I'm usually talking about some big finish. There's no doctor on the TV. Is it class? No, it's not class. Hang on, let's bring up my notes on the screen. Yes, yes, of course. It's unit silenced. Of course, it's the silence. They're back. They are. They're completely back, and they're back from from wherever they've gone. And uh, can I just check my notes? No. Nope. So, look, I'm really sorry about this. I have no idea what I'm podcasting about this time. Um, I've completely gone out my mind. It must be something. Um, hang on. Oh, I've done a doodle in the corner. Oh, yes, right. Of course, it's the silence. I've just remembered. How could I possibly have forgotten? God, they're terrifying. They are. You just forget everything, every time you've seen them. And, you know, I need to talk to you about how absolutely terrifying this audio story is, which deals primarily with memory. But then, of course, if I just... Sorry, what was I talking about? No, this is ridiculous. Look, if it's a big Finnish audio, it's probably marvellous. You've probably you know, already bought it. But even if you haven't, you should really consider this. No, I can't talk about it like that. I can't remember a thing about what I'm supposed to be talking about. Look, this is ridiculous. Hang on, there's, there's lots of felt to pen all over my hand. What what does it say? Look up. Ooh. Right, I've got to talk about the silence really quickly because I can see them and I'm recording this and I'll probably forget it all. But I must tell you, it's fantastic and it's really scary and... I know. There's a pair of sunglasses over there. I'll try those on. Back in a moment. This is K9. You are listening to Tin Dog Podcast. Please do not switch off. Yeah. All right. That was the gag. Fair enough. And that's how you approach the silence. I'll start the review properly. Welcome to the Tin Dog Podcast. Now, I know from experience that you like a bit of unit. And you also know that Unit Series 4 has just been announced and it's going to have, well, Benton, Mike Yates and Joe Jones. Joe Grant. And we're all looking forward to that. It's going to be Silurian and Sea Devil-tastic. Yeah, that's Series 4. Series 3, well, they're the silence. So how does humans, who instantly forget the existence of the silence, deal with the silence? And also, I have to do this without giving you away, well, any spoilers. It's a nightmare. I can't tell you how they deal with them, I can't tell you how they work through them, or with them, or against them, or anything like that. Suffice to say that this is a four-part boxed set. Continuing the adventures of Osgood, regardless of whether it's the Zygon one or not, and it is implied in the extras that it's not. And where that places it in the timeline, you're on your own there, mate. But it is a brilliant box set. You see, here you're seeing UNIT at its best, as a cohesive, thoughtful group. Yes, they're involved in surveillance. Yes, they're involved in all of the exciting and wacky things that they always were. But they're also tremendously good at their job. Better than anyone else on Earth. And yes, there's been no mention of Torchwood and the like. But you know what? I don't mind. Do you? No, of course not. I'm very happy with Kate and her gang. It does feel like they could step straight onto the TV screen and you'd accept them instantly. Now, there are storylines in Doctor Who's history that have been allegories. Things with things going on in them that look a bit like what's going on in real life. 
in the late 60s and early 70s, you had missions to Mars, where in real life we had missions to the moon. You had stories like the Sea Devils or the Green Death that dealt with very important social problems. Now, we all know what 2016 has been like. Politically speaking, we've had people like Trump and Boris Johnson and Mr Farage all coming to the fore when most people go, how are people voting for them? There's a storyline to do with something like that going on right here. And it starts making sense. Now, personally, I've had issues with, you know, things that involve the Doctor and monsters being responsible for the world. But here, it not only works, but it makes sense of everything. And for that, this story deserves an award. It deserves something marvellous to happen to it, because frankly, it's just brilliant. So I'm going to play the trailer and let you decide for yourself, because as far as I'm concerned, the silence are either here or have been, and they're coming back. Oh, you know what I mean. Look, it's great. It truly is. Here's the trailer and let you decide for yourself. So until next time, be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Unit silenced. Now let's move. Yes, yes sir. sir. I see you and your team, Carter. Osgood is clear. In we go then. Nice and steady. Follow me. Open fire! Whatever was going on at that house, whoever's behind it, they're really very keen that we don't look into it any further. Which makes me really want to. Right here. Miss McGee, there is no threat. It was dealt with, neutralized. Oh, now that's interesting. What is? Every time he turns away. Yes. We've had reports for decades of people citing strange creatures whose description matches our guys. Were the reports investigated? They were, as far as I can tell, but nothing was ever found. What is that? Well, now we know what Edvard Munch was screaming about. Ugly blighter, isn't he? Hostile sighted! Two behind you! More on the stairs! Look out! No! Please! What do you want? You heard him, man. Open fire! Big finish. We love stories. That was the Doctor Who Tin Dog Podcast, available on iTunes, YouTube, Twitter, RSS, Vimeo, and across the internet. Doctor Who and its associated properties are all copyright and trademark of the BBC. No infringement is intended. Why not become a supporter by visiting patreon.com slash tin dog. Contact the show on tin-dog at hotmail.co.uk. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. 